The war years were so awful for millions and millions of people. This was a time in which regular life stopped and life stopped making sense and the music makers were right in there with everyone else. Arnold Schoenbeck fought in World War I for one year. Several years later, he made a speech about that period in his life in which he said he felt like he had fallen into an ocean of boiling water. His student, Alban Beck, also fought. He composed his opera Wozzeck during the war in the midst of unspeakable horrors, while Schoenbeck's other student, Anton Webern, stopped composing after his son got killed in the war. He himself was shot and killed during the war a few years later. Igor Stravinsky was forced to leave his home country of Russia and wouldn't be able to return to it for almost 50 years. After World War I, he decided that the era of passionate romantic music was over and that a new type of music was needed for an impoverished world. Over in Paris, Maurice Ravel tried to become a flyer in the war, but he was turned down because of ill health. His friend, Claude Debussy, on the other hand, was really in no shape to fight as he was dying of cancer during the First World War. One day when Paris was about to be bombed, alarms were sounded so Parisians would run for cover, but Debussy was far too weak to move, and he died that day. And it's interesting to note that at this time in history, composers were writing pieces which seemed less and less pleasing to most audiences. A lot of these composers say that life became less recognizable, more horrific, and that they couldn't avoid letting those experiences become a part of their work. Just think about it, when you've got things like death and other atrocities happening all around you, as well as the Great Depression and industrialization, how can you not let this affect you?